are stupid. They're heavy, they're uncomfortable, they make everything more difficult and painful, and they're one of my favorite conditioning tools, which might make me a little stupid. However, if you're going to use a weighted vest, my favorite way to do it is with a plate carrier and plates. And out of everyone that's making fitness plates, by far and away my favorite is KD Armor. A lot of you are probably familiar with this vest or a knockoff just like it. I had the 20 pound and the 40 pound and they were okay. Unfortunately, like most vests, you're very aware that you're wearing it. It goes one way, you go the other. It's always hanging off you. It's very uncomfortable to use, especially when you're running. Uh, with that, with that uh, Cross 101 vest, I either had to hook my thumbs in it to keep it steady or slow down or put it so tight I could barely breathe. It just was a pain. Handstand push-ups were risky in that thing. The strap would pop loose when I was doing push-ups. Uh, when you're kipping, if you're do doing kipping pull-ups on a Murph, that thing's eventually gonna punch you in the face. And your choice was basically either tighten it down so much you couldn't breathe at all, or constantly restrap it, which made it a tool that I kind of dreaded using. Then I finally stumbled upon Katie Armour's ergonomic fitness plates and completed my Murph trifecta, which is of course the Victory Grips, the uh, Bear Complex Vest, and these beauties right here. I'll talk more about that Bear Complex Vest pretty soon. These 8.75 pound plates are just better than most of what's out there. Compared to sand or shot, they're worlds above, and with most movements, they just don't get in your way. KD Armor put a lot of thought and time into the design of these plates, and I've done a lot of body weight work with these on, I've done barbell work, dumbbell work, just about every kind of workout you can think of with these plates on, and I've never had them get in my way. Obviously, the first thing you notice are the ergonomics of the plate. Combined with a good plate carrier, these suckers give you a little hug and tend to stay put. The way these sort of fin up from the bottom here really helps it grab onto you in a good plate carrier and helps keep it in position. I think one of the best things I can say about these is I can keep a nine minute pace with these plates and be fine. I can run normally. If I tried that in the old Cross 101 vest, my shoulders would just be a mess for a week after. Part of that is having a decent plate carrier, but a bigger part of it is having good plates, and I wouldn't have believed that till I got different plates. So the other two big design advantages uh, that Katie has over traditional plates like these that I didn't really think about is the finish on this is pretty coarse, you can see it on camera, and it grips a little bit inside the carrier. Combined with the ergonomic design, it creates more friction in there. This is glass smooth, and it's short. Katie obviously fills the entire void in there, and it helps keep everything in place when you're running or doing push-ups. I don't think I dare risk doing a handstand push-up in this, and kipping with these plates is ridiculous. Now, when that little one throat punched me, it wasn't too terrible, but man, this sucker on a kipping pull-up, this thing hit me so hard in my neck that I thought I was gonna fall off the bar. Uh, so, kind of a bummer, but I wanted heavier plates. I wanted something that could get me closer to the 30 pound mark, and this was all that was available. But, wouldn't you know it, literally five or six days after I bought that, Katie messaged me on uh, Instagram and told me they were coming out with these thick boys right here and a couple other weights, so I needed to have them. All of them, in fact. After I got the big boy, I was insanely impressed with how well it performed. By keeping the same form factor and the same finish, it moves with you just like the slightly lighter one does. Once I had that, then I ended up having to get the light ones. This one's like five and three quarters, this one's three and three quarters, but I can't even get in trouble for those. My wife decided she wanted to run the Murph 2 this year and she wanted to use a plate carrier, so I needed some lighter ones. So these are basically a gift. I was really impressed by these light ones too. You can see, if you kind of look at them all stacked up together here, that this uh, three, and a, three and three quarter pound one is exactly the same shape as the 8.75, they just made it thinner. And for the 5.75, they kept the thickness, but just did these carve outs here in order to make sure it kept filling up the space. And they stay put just like their bigger brothers. It's really impressive, like the design they put into all of these with the cutouts and the handles and everything else, it's just really nice. Like they, they thought of so many ways to make them effective for fitness. The texture in the handles might seem like a little excessive, but once you handle these smooth plates a couple of times, you realize how nice it is. It's not something that you're actually gonna interact with all that often, but anytime you have to take a plate out or put a plate in, you're really gonna appreciate it. And Katie had to 
put cutouts in this thing anyway to make the weights correct. So adding the handle is just a really cool design addition that makes them a little easier to use. I also thought it was pretty neat that they made the plates look like they were vomiting. It's a subtle nod to that person you tricked, whether through peer pressure or ignorance, into doing their first MRF. So if you're new to using a weight vest, they've got a 3.75, this guy for 55 bucks, and a, a 5.75 pound for 75 bucks, and that shipped to your door. There's the standard weight one here, 8.75. This one is gonna run you 85 bucks shipped. And then there's the big boy. Uh, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, this guy's at 105 right now. And again, shipping is included on all of those. And every time I've bought anything from Katie, the turnaround is super fast. And granted, I'm pretty close to their manufacturing facility, but I've gotten all my stuff the next day. Also, if you've never purchased fitness plates before and this may seem obvious, but they do include two of them, one for the front and the back. If you're gonna use a plate carrier, there are cheaper options. Those other plates I showed you are a little bit cheaper. After you factor in shipping, it's usually a lot closer than you'd think, but by far, I haven't found anything better. These are my favorites. They move well with you, they don't hurt. I don't get that pain in my shoulders when using these. I can kip with them for hundreds of pull-ups, no issue, handstand push-ups, no issue, push-ups, no issue, all kinds of stuff. So if you're gonna get a plate carrier, I would invest in plates that are at least this good. If you get a plate carrier with those plates that don't fill it all the way up, they're gonna bounce, they're gonna move, and you're probably not gonna use it. So you might as well spend a little extra and get something that is this awesome and that you're actually gonna use. I'm gonna link Katie's page below, and these plates are made right here in the Midwest, only about half an hour from where I was born, oddly enough. The shipping's free, they're awesome. Don't skimp on your plates. You know, up until I messaged uh, Katie Armour on Instagram, I'd been calling it Caddy to everybody who asked me. I'd, don't know why, I just thought that's the way it sounded, but he told me when I was talking to him that he figured if he was gonna be married to a business, it might as well have a lady's name. And given how much Katie's done for me, I thought I'd give back. So, come on over here. Got something special for you. <laughs> oh. In my head, <laughs> this is way more terrifying than I was expecting. Okay. You know what, I thought I'd like anthropomorphize one of the plates, make a funny joke about how if you're married to the company, you know, why not have a wife? But this, uh, I, I mean, if you're into it, I'm only like two and a half hours away. I can drive it right up there. Balls in your court. The lips, maybe the lipstick was too much. Okay, power through. Next time, I'm gonna go over the Bear Complex vest and complete the holy trinity of my Murph trifecta. Until then, uh, try to get this out of your head, and I'll see you next time.